Hey, I'm Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and welcome to my Tarot Meanings Deep Dive series. Today we're going to be diving into the Hierophant. So in this video, I'm going to take you on a little journey into this card. I'm going to be telling you what the Hierophant is all about, what he represents. I'm going to give you some keywords. I'm going to break down some of the symbols on this card to help you remember its meaning. We're going to explore the dark side of the Hierophant. And then I'm going to go into three specific areas of the Hierophant. I'm going to be giving you questions to ponder, to journal about. We're going to have a lot of fun. So you might want to get a, a piece of paper and a pen handy if you want to jot down some of the questions that I give you throughout this video, um, or just sit back and relax. So the Hierophant is probably one of, I don't want to say he's my least favorite card, but he's one of those kind of stuffy sort of uptight tarot cards. <laughs> so the Hierophant basically in a nutshell, he represents established power structures and institutions. Something that, you know, is, has been around a while. There's a bit of a tradition to it. Um, something that ha usually has kind of like a top-down sort of hierarchy. Uh, and think of like uh, religion, education, government, maybe even corporations, things like that. So kind of institutions and established power structures. He also represents membership within a group and the sense of belonging that can come from that and rules, customs, and uh, sort of norms within that group. He represents conformity, groupthink, the system, and taking a conventional path. He can also represent a teacher or a guide who operates within that system. So he is in some ways very different from the emperor. So last week we covered the emperor. And uh, the Emperor was all about kind of trailblazing a path, whereas the Hierophant is about taking the well-worn path. While the, while the Emperor was about creating your own structure and your own rules and value system, the Hierophant is about having uh, that uh, value system and that structure imposed on you. So there's a bit of a difference there. So let's talk about the dark side of the Hierophant. So before we get into the dark side, I have to tell you about the light side. So if you interpret the Hierophant, if you look at the Hierophant in the most positive light, he represents a structure. He represents a system with kind of built in rules, norms, culture, a built-in sort of path value system um, and it's a structure within which you can grow and flourish if it's a positive experience. Um, so think of like education, you know, there's this sort of system in place um, in the education system but you know it, it provides, ideally it provides an environment in which you can can learn and grow and thrive if you have a positive experience of that of that system. Um, the dark side of the Hierophant is that it can represent oppressive institutions and power structures that stunt the freedom and growth of the individual. So like I said, the light side, it provides this well-worn path through which you can travel upon. It's a path that many have taken before you. So just think of like a really old religion. Um, so it's, it's like a well-worn path. Many people have walked that path. Um, and, and that presents kind of a structure and a guidance system to help you unfold and, and develop as you grow. That's the light side. The dark side is that it's oppressive and it's limiting. So some of the key symbols on the card. Now the card that I'm showing you here is um, from the uh, uh, Universal Weight Tarot deck. So, um, uh, sorry, my <laughs> just lost my train of thought. Okay, so some symbols on this card um, are the crown, the robe, and the stick that the priest is holding. 
and the hand signal that he's doing, all of this kind of symbolizes ritual, pomp, and ceremony, and customs. Another interesting thing here on the card is it's a priest with monks, so it, right away it shows this particular hierarchy. Um, and that's an easy way to sort of remember what this card is all about. Think about hierarchy, hierophant, hierophant hierarchy, similar words. So there's the priest with the two monks. The monks are looking up at him and he, the priest is like high above them. So he's higher than them. So there's this, <laughs> this high, low ranking. And if you notice, he isn't making eye contact with them. So the monks we assume are looking up at him, but he's not looking at them. He's looking kind of out into space. So there's this, there's this power differential and he's not really connecting with them. Um, okay, so let's dive into, I've, I've chosen three key things that the Hierophant represents. Institutions, conformity, and the teacher guide archetype. So let's dive into each of these. And here's where I'm going to be giving you some, some questions for, for exploration and journaling. So institutions, the Hierophant represents usually powerful institutions and institutions that have been around a long time, that have a sort of a sense of tradition and that are very entrenched in our society. So established power structures, you know, um, and the tradition and culture behind those. Again, he represents hierarchy, rules, and customs. So some examples of this would be religion, government, education, uh, maybe military, even things like gangs and mafia and stuff like that, even though those aren't really um, uh, considered conventional things, uh, and of course the Hierophant is all about convention and being conventional, um, but the, the gangs and the organized crime groups and stuff like that will have a power structure within them. Um, and so the Hierophant can also kind of represent uh, those kinds of groups or cults even, you know, all of that kind of falls under the, the dominion of the Hierophant. Uh, all right, so the question I have for you is what institutions have you experienced directly? So for me, the institution that I've had the most direct experience with would be education. Um, so think about the institutions that you've experienced. It might be uh, organized religion, you know, maybe you're in a biker gang, I don't know. <laughs> what has this experience been like for you? Has it been helpful? And how has it been helpful? And has it been unhelpful in any way? So I can certainly think of my own experience of the education system, which I was in from age five to, you know, my early 20s. Um, a lot of times it was positive. It provided a structure for me to grow in and to learn. And then other times it felt very limiting and it was, you know, a very negative experience. So I've had both kind of helpful and unhelpful experiences within that institution. So next up is conformity. The Hierophant is all about conformity and conforming to a group and uh, the group think that sometimes comes along with that, conforming to the, the rules and the power structure of a particular group. Um, and also, you know, conforming to convention and, and choosing a conventional path. So what is your relationship to conformity like? When was the last time you conformed? And what does it feel like for you to conform? Or what does it feel like for you not to conform? So for me, sometimes there is this sense of comfort that comes from conforming to something and knowing that I, you know, I'm in good company and I have the support of most people. At the same time, there is a certain thrill in not conforming. And sometimes I find myself choosing non-conformity just for the sake of it, uh, just, just so I can get that thrill of not, of not conforming. <laughs> um, okay, so when or where in your life have you chosen a conventional path? And how have you benefited from that? 
So in my own life, I can think of lots of examples of when I've been unconventional, but there's also lots of areas in my life where I'm very conventional. And there is a benefit, I think, to choosing the well-worn path and going where many have gone before me. You know, there's this sort of built-in support system in a way. Um, I just think of, you know, all the times I have made conventional choices, there is that instantaneous sort of support from society in general when you make those kinds of decisions that can be, uh, can be comforting sometimes, <laughs> even if it's maybe the wrong decision for you personally. So the Hierophant, also represents kind of that teacher archetype. He is a teacher. He is a guide who helps you learn and incorporate a particular system or set of rules, customs, and ideology into your life. So this could be, you could even think of like a yoga teacher could fall under this, some sort of religious leader or teacher, uh, even a life coach or like a coach who's helping you um, you know, incorporate something like the law of attraction, uh, you know, into your life could kind of fall under this category. So a good teacher shows you how to access your inner wisdom through, you know, the various tools of the system. A bad teacher tries to, um, uh, replace your inner wisdom with an ideology. So that's a key difference there with a good teacher, bad teacher. <laughs> um, so a, a question I have for you is when has a teacher been really helpful for you? When have you really needed a teacher or a guide? And when has that been helpful for you? And when in your life, or I should say where in your life, do you need to get more in touch with your inner guide and your inner wise person? Because there's a time and a place to seek outside of yourself for wisdom, and then there's a time to go inside for wisdom. So the wisdom of the Hierophant, I'm just gonna take my note sheet down here so I can see it better. The wisdom of the Hierophant is that there's a time to be a rebel and strike out on your own, kind of like the emperor. And there's a time to take the well-worn path and benefit from the wisdom and power and structure of a time-tested tradition. And for those of us who need a little guidance, uh, the Hierophant offers a ready-made structure and playbook for you to follow. You just have to add conformity and obedience <laughs> for that to really work. So the illusion of the Hierophant is that he offers protection, certainty, and a safe plan, uh, which is actually not true. He doesn't offer that, but that's kind of the illusion of the Hierophant is that, you know, by choosing the conventional path and by following the rules that, you know, you, you will be able to stay safe and you'll get uh, the desired outcome. So a good example of this um, I found is that when I was a personal trainer, I was a personal trainer for many years, and I found that people would come to me and they'd want to lose weight or start exercising. And so many people would say, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. You know, just tell me what to eat, tell me what exercises to do and how often to do them, and I'll just do it. Like they didn't want to think about it. They didn't want to find, you know, the right kind of exercise for them or the right kinds of diet way of eating for them. They just wanted a, a ready-made formula and a set of rules to follow because they wanted that sort of certainty that comes from just, you know, following the rules and getting an outcome. Um, but of course that doesn't always work because there's so many other factors that come into play that people end up kind of being disappointed because it's not always that simple. And I think that that's kind of the illusion of the Hierophant. It's like conform, follow the rules, take the well-worn path, do what you're told, and you'll be able to stay safe and you'll be able to get this desired outcome of whatever, whatever that might be. And, um, for the most part, I think that's a little bit of an illusion, um, but that's kind of what the Hierophant represents. So that has been my deep dive into the Hierophant. So I hope you've had fun and let me know, did you learn anything new? Did you learn anything new about the Hierophant? 
or anything new about yourself in this video. Let me know in the comment section below and join me next week. Next week, I'm going to dive into the lovers and the lovers is one of the juiciest cards in the tarot deck. So I can't wait to explore that card with you. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. I'm going to be posting a video like this every week until I'm all the way through the major arcana. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.